All right, what's going on, guys? This is that package I won. Actually, it's a game I won from a a cool guy. Uh, he's got a channel called Gaming Nights. Video games, cool board games, and then uh, you know what have you. Same hobbies as the rest of us. Um, so you guys go check out his channel. I'll have the link there. Uh, yeah, it definitely needs more gamers over there, and I mean, shit, I got so many gamers watching my channel. You know, there's a lot of other cool guys out there, and I just want to get the word out there, too, so. Go check his channel out. And surprisingly, there's only a couple of people who entered this contest, and he told me that, like, two or three of them, their channels had been closed since it happened, since the contest happened. Um, so, even that, there was only a few left in there, and what it was was basically talk about, he was... A raffling out or giving away or deciding uh, with this contest on who to um, who would win this Ze the Zelda game he had. Um, I, th I don't exactly remember which exactly one it is, but I know it's for the advance, and I think it's like a collection of them. Uh, so I can't w wait to check this out. Have something to play on my uh, Game Boy Advance finally, or on my DS, excuse me. So, uh, yeah, and he said he's done a couple other things, too, so I can't wait to see what we got. And uh, we might have started a little trade here. All right. So. And I'm hoping that there's a second game he sent me. All right. It was Bump and Jump. So, awesome. And Star Force. These are the NES games he got. I'll get to the uh, contest winning in a second. But, uh, so he's got a couple of these games running. Now, Bump and Jump, this is an awesome game. Now, let's see here. I do have a copy of this, but, um, you know, this is just one of those awesome games, you know, from my childhood. I remember renting this and just liking it a lot, and my mom liked it for some reason. So she, there were a few times when she had rented this game from the grocery store, you know, for me on a weekend or whatnot. I had a lot of fun with this game. But yeah, well, <laughs> I appreciate the gift there. This was actually a gift, so I am going to actually trade in one of my games for this. I had re recently won a uh, second copy of The Goonies 2. So, and he, here, uh, like the guy at Game of Nights, I'm not, <laughs> see what your name is again. I don't forget. Don't mind me calling you by your name. Fred, Fred over at Game of Nights, sent me... He's had three games he wanted to trade, and I said one of them I needed was Star Force. He had Road Blasters, I believe, and then another one I needed. But uh, so I'm glad to have Star Force. This is a pretty cool shooter game. It's by uh, Tecmo. So yeah, cool. And then I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> so I'm not gonna surprise you, but I'm gonna go ahead and send you that copy of Goonies 2 I have. As I was saying before, I had one of copies of Goonies 2, so you know I have two of them now. Um, they're both clips. I was hoping one of these bump and jumps was a five pin. That would have been perfect. And now here's the game I won, which I'm really excited about. It's a Game Boy Advance game. Um, CIB sealed. It's The Legend of Zelda: A Link to the Past. Um, that's fucking awesome. Uh, it includes uh, a new multiplayer adventure, The Four Swords. So that was a game that was released for the Ad Game Boy Advance. A lot of people said that didn't, don't say that it doesn't count as a Zelda game in a chronological or whatever. It's a Zelda game. <laughs> it's an Adventures with Link, so it's a Zelda game. So I, you know, I can't wait to check out that Four Swords catch up. And uh, so we got um, a Link to the Past on the Advance. That's sweet. Um, I was thinking, you know, just the other day, if there was a game that, you know, if I had just to go live out in the woods right now and abandon everything, I'd probably grab this DS because the batteries have lasted for four months already, and it's still a full charge. <laughs> so I know that'll last for a long time, and I would, I would like, actually, my plan was I would get, was going to bring one of my Game Boy Colors with batteries and bring Link's Awakening for the Game Boy. But now that I have this, this will actually be the game that I grab and run out to the woods with if I ever have to with my DS, and the choice with this is because I can see this at dark at night when I'm playing it outside over that. Yeah, I got some weird reasons and motivations for doing things, but you know, <laughs> I'm excited to have uh, Link to the Past. 
One of my favorite games as a childhood, and one of, one of the main reasons why I'm loving this 3D dot game hero so much. I apologize, you probably caught, uh, caught a lot of glare there. But, uh, yeah, so sweet. Thank you very much, Gaming Night. That's awesome. Yeah, I can't wait to check that out and play it a little bit. And thanks again for these games. I'm going to hold on to these, and who knows, you know, maybe um, somebody down the line will need an extra bump and jump, and more good will come from that. So we'll see what happens there. And um, he's also, there's a few things he's looking for here. I'm, I've got the Goonies 2 that he's looking for, but he's also looking for two Monty Pythons. Um, so check out the video of the things he's looking for when I put up the link, and uh, you can help him find those. And if I find those... They're getting mailed straight to to you, so <laughs> I will be keeping my eyes open at uh, Goodwill and whatnot. So if I find those Monty Pythons, they're yours. And uh, like I said, you know, I'll have another probably another trade video up here of the things I've amassed, and probably this weekend. So stay tuned, everybody, and uh, thanks again, Game of Night. Go check out his channel. Peace.